crikey. Have you seen the weather today? It's, uh, it's not too bad, I suppose, anyway. Good morning, my name's Mike M0MSN, and um, I've had a phone call from the DX commander, uh, as he knows I'm quite interested in, in magnetic loops, um, and loops of all kinds, to be honest with you, when it comes to antennas. And uh, he's requested that uh, I make him a, a, a direction finding loop, I suppose. Um, so I've had a look at this, and uh, this video is precisely that. I'm making him a DX loop. Okay. Welcome once again back to my kitchen. Aha. Right, okay, so um, today I think I'll adapt um, one of these really nice indoor uh, loop antennas, one of the wire wound ones, uh, to be a uh, direction finding loop um, for 80 meters. Uh, this should help with uh, the DX commander's uh, mission to, to find the QRMA. <laughs> So it's going to be based on uh, OM0ET Paul's uh, loop. Um, now he made just recently a lovely uh, wire wound um, uh, receive loop for 80 meters and 40 and 20. And uh, I believe there's also a 10 pickup on it. Uh, now I'm going to adapt that um, idea and hopefully make a uh, single band um, wire loop. Um, and well, we'll have a look and see how it goes. So I have two lengths of 25 mil conduit in this particular instance. They are 74 centimeters in length, uh, and the other one's a meter in length. Um, now the idea is that we will use um, these two lengths of conduit as our framework for the wire. And uh, we should measure in one centimeter increments from the ends and we'll make seven holes. Uh, and the same here. Um, I'll find the middle of these first and we'll make um, a, a hole in both for the cross point. So it will sit like that. Um, anyway, right, let's... Uh, let's find the tape measure. So 74 is the length. We need half of that, which is 37. Yeah. Right, 37. That's the halfway point. And once we're here, we'll mark the bottom of this tube as well. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is set up and mark our drill hose for the wire to go through. Um, now what I'm going to do is, to make life easy for myself, um, I'm going to tape these together so that they stay flat. That makes sense? Okay, let me just do that quickly.
So what I've done is I've drilled a single hole through the middle-ish of these um, pipes. And what I'm going to do, if I can get it to work, is I'm going to super glue the, uh, the pipes together in the middle and then tighten it down with um, the nuts and bolts. Right, so the next job is to wind, um, I don't know, what is it? Seven, two, so 14 meters of, of wire around um, the frame. Now I'm using DX10 um, mainly because it's excellent stuff. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, so this is going to take some time. So please enjoy whatever it is I'm going to play. Here you go on the very uh, last bit, we need to do eight holes. So obviously the, um, it's actually only seven turns, but um, we need an, a termination hole at the bottom for the loose wire. What I'm gonna do now is put some tape around this and then start pulling all of these wires back and taut. Um, yeah, so bear with. I think it's genuinely looking quite good at the moment. Right, so as you've just seen, I've glued on um, two um, screw terminals or chocker block, call it what you will, strip connector. Um, I'm going to take this core and put it in the top and I'm going to take then the, the shield of a piece of coax and put it into the bottom and this one I'm going to solder directly to the middle uh, or the centre core of, of some coax, okay?
Okay, I've uh, connected it up to my radio just to see. Uh, I'm, do I'm doing this so that you don't have to. <laughs> Magic words. Uh, yeah, okay, so we're five watts of power. The SWR is just about two, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't use it as a transmission loop, that's for sure. Let's see what's available to receive. So we know it works. Let's see if I can out of phase. Actually, it's better. Okay, so what do we have? So those of you that might be uh, a little observant may have realised that we've suddenly got more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine turns. Okay, I decided on increasing the number of turns because this is a mono band um, loop, if you want. Uh, it is purely a receiving loop. So instead of having a capacitor on it to uh, adjust its um, frequency, uh, I decided on, on putting a couple more turns on. Um, so this is quite literally um, 16.9 meters of wire uh, on this frame. Uh, I will put all of the uh, the sizes and stuff in the description below. Um, and what I've done is that is this is purely an antenna. Uh, the counterpoise is here. It just runs across the floor. Um, and what I've got is basically a loop, uh, which makes it um, a little bit directional, if you wish. Um, so you can use this to null out the signals. It is only uh, a receive antenna. Please do not try to transmit on it. Um, it won't work and you'll end up just breaking things. Um, SWR wise, uh, well, yeah, yeah, it's a little bit, mm -mm. but it's close enough for the purposes that it is made for. Like I said, it is not a transmission loop. Um, it is <clears throat> purely for a receive. So I've done a little bit of tidying up after the, um, the video and uh, decided to remove the tape and uh, use some uh, tie wraps instead. Um, I've also printed some very nice end stops. I don't know if you can see them or not, because uh, there you go. It's nice having a 3D printer. Anyway, there you are, Callum. Over to you. I hope it works for you as well as it works for me. Cheers for now. So I've just turned up um, outside the DX Commander's uh, place in um, Kenilworth uh, to surprise him really I suppose uh, I've got uh, an antenna uh, to give him and a couple of uh, oh there's a parking space over there and uh, some bits and pieces so um, <laughs> I expect he doesn't realize that I'm here because he's actually live streaming at the moment so this is going to be a bit of fun um, so, so bear with me and uh, we'll uh, go and knock on the door Hello. Oh, hello. Didn't you. Hello. I know he's live streaming, that's why I'm going to crash his party. How are you? Very good. Just very quietly, yeah. EGM 0XXT, good luck to you. I 
Don't show people that. <laughs> Mike's come to see us. Let's say hello to Mike. Hang on. Are you filming me? I am, yeah. I thought I would uh, just do a, a quick hello and uh, have have myself filming you as I walked in. So well, um, we're live streaming at the moment. Oh well, I keep keep the camera in front so of my face because I'm an ugly, an ugly. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mike M Zero MSN. Hi everybody. Who has? Let me, uh, let me turn this off now. He's built me. Some 